Stamerates already start with a massive vessel swarm, which makes them the strongest power in the region. Besides, they have cores on their vessels, so it would be possible to instantly annex them, and they have cores on whole jam, making it easy to conquer. But the best thing about Timurids is that it's very easy to form Mughals. And Mughals have one of the best combat reforms in the entire game. It lets you summon cultures and get bonuses for them. In this video, I will show you how to play as Mughals. As usual, let's start with Rent, Parent, just Diplomats, a local residence to Scholar, here choose aggressive expansion impact reduction, invite the Scholar, now oh, let's also grant strong touches, quite important, I would say even extremely important. You will have a very bad time if you don't do it. Also take park allowance, and that's it, yes. You may also seize land, but don't grant my privileges right now. Believe me, you will regret it. It's a very bad idea. And right now, don't set any rivals. Okay, start building free company, anywhere you want. You can also use karma interaction lenient taxation. It will reduce opportunity desire in subjects. Now we can finish the right leadership, and uh, let's wait until December. Meanwhile, you can start improving relations with either Vijayanagar or Bengal. So here it is December 1st, this event will explain that if your ruler dies, all vessels will become unloyal. How does it work? While your ruler is still alive, he has this wonderful modifier. Minus 50 liberty desire in vessels. As soon as he dies, all of your vessels will become unloyal. Ok, now you can choose your rivals, if you see a jump here, if you can do it on 11 December do it. Ok, here we go, we can do it. And now it's time to declare. Well, the first, let's hire some advisors. Tamerites have some discounted advisors. Diplomatic and admin one. Ok, perfect. Now the Corona Jam, preferably as soon as possible, but it's better to rival it first. Take the Heran, and try not to help your vessels. You can maybe use your free company of course, but let your vessels kill their troops. Let them lose battles, it's very important. So here we go, Shah Rook has died. So you want to immediately royal marry your vessels, you can close this window, it doesn't really influence anything, and make them loyal before month ends. It's very, very important. Let's develop a little bit, here it is, one, two. Uh, let's check out, uh, maybe uh, let's dump some prestige, or maybe pay off that by the way. Yeah, pay off that will work. Try to have less than 45 liberty desire, and keep an eye on their loyalty. That's why I said uh, you can let them lose battles. What happens if they have more than 50, you might ask? Well, the answer is quite simple actually. Mamluks or any other nations can support them, and that would be quite bad. Maybe let's start improving relations with them, and I will just sit like this, I will check on them. Because it would be really, really bad if they become loyal. So yeah, just develop, pay off that, placate local rulers. Although yes, it's got some prestige, but it's better than unloyal vessels. And don't even think of granting any mana privileges right now. You don't want to do this. By the way, because I'm not using my troops, we already have more than 50% of farm and power. Let's make our ruler a general. Surprisingly not bad. And let's finish to prepare for war mission. And get some claims on India. Also, I think I should tell you about common advice, is to break vassalization of this stun. It's because to finish this mission, you need to annex it. But unlike on all of your other vessels, you don't have cores on this stun. So it would be impossible to immediately annex it. The solution is to break vassalization and just conquer it usually. Personally, I wouldn't do it, because it's ranged dependent, you never know uh, how AI can screw you over. Maybe it will ally someone strong, I don't know. I would annex it the usual way. Ok, let's rail Mary Pencal, it's quite good ally for the first time to wait for as long as possible. Ok, in theory we can peace out and I think let's do it. So you should be able to fully annex a jam, and that actually might be bad. You might ask why? And the answer is really simple, because you will get all of these vessels. Why is it bad? Because your vessels will become even more loyal. And let me demonstrate. As you can see, everyone is already on the edge. State your new provinces, and now once again before the month tick ends you want to make all of your vessels loyal. Because we stated a jam, they became a little bit more loyal. Let's also create bigger army and develop our new vessels. Maybe placate local rulers and develop Luristan. Pay off that maybe? Yeah, okay. Now let's replicate claim on Baluchistan and choose our new rivals. And yes, that's why I said to wait until you can choose a jam. Power projection. Well, Baluchistan got conquered, but usually it's not the case. Thankfully, it got granted by Synth, so I would be able to reconquer it like this. So I could actually take this princess from Synth to reach Tally. But I will just reconquer Baluchistani provinces. Usually Baluchistan is not conquered that fast, but you never know. You may say I got unlucky. Wow, this war is dragging for longer than I thought. I already missed the diamonds. Ok, here we go, let's annex Baluchistan. And on 11 November 1454, so it's only possible, you want to annex your vessels. Also want to notify that Transaxian has course on Uzbek, so in theory you could declare, but in my opinion it's not worth it. Anyway, let's annex Transaxiano, grant Emir integration policy, and almost all of annexations will be instant. Now you won't have any problems with the Brigade Desire. Also you would need to delete some of your troops. 
He recalled in Kowloon support. Tally less clear. This time Indian situation is quite unlucky for me. Usually Tally is continuous, so you would be able to conquer only 3 provinces in one war. Anyway, your first goal is to quickly piss out allies of Delhi. Let's finish these two missions and get minus 20 core creation cost. All that this modifier is timed, so I think I will finish it only after I can piss out Delhi. Also, when you have a lot of legalism, if you don't need these buffs, you can debase his current team, like this, and use your interaction. Easy money. Ok, let's piss out Malva and I will tell you how to deal with alliance blocks. Quite easy actually. Just break alliances through war, like this. It's a lot of Bengal and Tally, I will just break its alliances. And this way it's quite easy to dismantle alliance blocks. What well, this game is very unlucky, not only because Delhi is into pieces, but also because all my Indian neighbors are allied with quite rich nations. That's how company with good general will come in handy. And I think let's declare Omultan. Yes, I would need to deal with Jumper, but it won't be that difficult. I won't need to get one head war score. I will cancel my trade access and I will declare. Basically, you're the biggest nation in the region, so there won't be any problems. My goal is just to siege their capital. Just on fourth, and it's already 37 war score. Let's maybe try to swipe this stack. Easy. Let's go to their capital and we will be able to piss out. Once again, nothing difficult, even without allies, even without vessels. As you can see, I totally ignore my homeland. There is no need to even do anything. Let's maybe carpet siege a little. Here we go, basically speed 5 the Jampur annexation. I will break some of their alliances. I think I will full annex Multon, so no need to break its alliance. War operations, why not? And a little bit of money. Okay, so now Sirhin doesn't have strong allies, it's our next target. Now we'll try to piss out Nagaur. Wait, peace, and we can piss out Multon. Oh, not yet, but soon. Let's fully annex it. There shouldn't be any collisions at this stage, and even then, to be honest, I conquer way more than I should. Ideally, your first war should be just to declare on Delhi, or Sirhint, or whoever, and make snake like this. Like this, to Delhi. Okay, now we would be able to conquer our necessary provinces. Let's check it out. Yes, like this. Yeah, coalition wouldn't be big even right now. Okay, let's piss out Delhi. Just make sure to take Delhi, and Toaba, and Lahore. Well, this time only Delhi. Yeah, there will be coalition, but do not worry, it won't form, because we just pissed out half of Indian continent. To prevent it from forming, I will just improve relations. Also, we have some truths. Anyway, let's finish our mission, control East Khorasan, and first course these provinces, and declare on Sirkin then. Or maybe you can declare right now, but just not conquer anything. Why did I declare, you might ask? The answer is very, very simple. Because it could find new allies instead of Jampur. Also, just want to point out that you have creative freedom. You could, for example, declare on Delhi as your first war, not on a jump. Or, instead of Delhi, I could declare on Karakoyunmu. Also possible. And also grant mana privileges right after you next all of your vessels. And that's why I told you not to grant them right away. Low Crownland increases liberty desire. Also, I would like to fully on Sirhint, but as you can see, it will cast out of crazy expansion. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to improve relations with these nations. This collision is not even that big, actually. Could be worse. Okay, let's quickly piss out Sirhint. We have one more month, and let's go. Most of these nations have truce with me, and I will improve relations with those who don't. In India, it's very important that nation that have truce with you can't enter the coalition. As your first city group, take diplomatic ideas. I would also recommend to allay Ottomans. This is temporary. You might ask why, and that's because they usually get renaissance the earliest of all nations you can ally. So you would be able to ask for knowledge sharing. Okay, let's also start annexing our vessels. Okay, let's finish the mission control over Pesha. But anyway, let's form Mughals. Just a heads up, you can do it a lot earlier if you want to. To form Mughals, you need to state Upper Doab and Core Lahore or Doaba. So, let's click this wonderful button. First, you will become an empire. Take new ideas, they're very good. Here they are, minus 25 core creation cost. Right at the start, it's very powerful. And let's talk about Mughals, briefly. It has unique commentary form, Mughal D1. That's why Mughals are very good. Basically, you would be able to assimilate culture groups. So if you conquer whole culture group, let me show you, you would get some bonuses. So for example, if you conquer all Iranian provinces, you would get minus 10 advisor cost. If you conquer whole Hindustani provinces, these ones, you would get core creation cost reduction. Plus, when you conquer all provinces in some culture group, you automatically accept it. So there will be less unrest and more money from your provinces. You still have ICTA taxation abilities, Let's take Corpus and Cast, for example. And also you get new mission tree. Mughal mission tree is one of the best in the game. And besides some claims. Not even some, a lot of claims. So now your task is to start conquering weakest neighbors in one culture group. So for example, it's better to first deal with Hindustani culture group, for example. Then after you conquer it, you can deal with Aryan culture group. Well, I think I understood. You need to assimilate cultures. Okay, I think let's start with conquering Ladakh. It is quite weak. Let's also declare on Kashmir. I will also fabricate on Ormus. And maybe let's start building some ships. Well, this was quite easy, let's piss out. While we are waiting, I could declare on Jampur together with Bengal. That's why allies are good, and I would like to ally Bahmanis. 
I'll just come to find as many allies as possible. All this unit will agree to peace out, and yes, here it is. Okay, now we conquered whole Pujabi culture, and first we can finish some missions. Oh, and check out how cheap our course. That's Mughals for you. Okay, to finish this mission we need to state all these provinces, I guess. Okay, now we can declare on transport together with Bengal, should be quite easy. As you might notice, Mughals are quite OP, uh, but most likely that's also because I have better Multech. Don't forget to keep up on Multech. Let's fight Peace Synth, just for short truth. And let's pass out Jampur, was really, really easy. You just need to declare on Indian Sultanates as soon as possible, before they have grown. And break their alliance as well. Okay, let's ally Bahmanis. Not only they will help in wars, but also they won't get as much of aggressive expansion. Also, you may forget your forts, you have tons of useless ones. If you don't see any good available targets in India, for whatever reason. Oh, Malwa is good by the way. Well, what I wanted to say is that you can declare on Karakunlu and Mushasha. You want to expand Ito Ormus and Pasha trade nodes. And then ideally Cuff of Aiden. Well, excuse me, but I can't resist this temptation. Well, let's quickly declare. Well, unfortunately, Ottomans want to break our alliance, but not now. Let's remove some vital interests. It's better to constrain the sons from Ottomans, than develop it ourselves. The truth is that has expired, let's pull an exit. And you might know that I don't care about coalitions, and it's true. I don't. It's actually quite easy to avoid coalitions in India. So currently I'm declaring on Sunni nations. Why is it important? Because only Sunni nations get angry when they declare on other Sunnis. And mostly Indian Sunnis. Arabs don't really care. Well, except on these ones. What does it mean? It means that if we have truce with other Sunni Indians like Mara, Jaglandesh, Sindh, they won't enter the coalition. And Hindus or Shiites like Bahmanis won't even get angry. Okay, let's stack wipe and Pisat Malva. Okay, here we go. Neither money nor coalition is not really a problem, that's why I will take 100 more score in provinces. It's extremely cheap to core new provinces as Mughals, so nothing is stopping you. Four nations will join the coalition. Just four. And not even join, I have truth with them. And here we go, unique Mughal mechanic, we assimilated Punjabi people, because we conquered all Punjabi provinces. Basically, it's like free accepted culture. It's a lot stronger than you might think. Anyway, I don't have truth with Jankladesh, let's also conquer. Although it's already Hindu, my war might get angry. But it's just three provinces, it's not much. Also, I will take chain loans, just to not care about money, it's almost zero interest. And we will continue our conquest. Well, not zero, but only two interest. Okay, let's fully conquer these three provinces. I will take small break and declare on Sint. Well, I could declare on Jankpur, call in Bahmanis, then they won't support my war. I would quickly piss it out and everything will be good. But we have quite a long truce, so right now maybe let's conquer some Karakuino princes. So I see I can tap much give us a slice Hasa. That's what I'll do. Scornfully is out Mushasha. And here we go, we can slice Hasa. Peacefully. Right now I will also declare on Karakuino and Mushasha, and that means only mammals will be left. Well, and Ormus. We would need to deal with Ormus. Okay, let's quickly conquer Karakuino. We'll have to do without Ottomans. I won't conquer allies of Karakuino, just no need. But I will conquer Mushasha. As next country form, I will take representatives of the crown. Okay, let's fully conquer Mushasha. Once again, no coalition. It's Shia nation. It's not Sunni. And I will add the center of trade here to train company. I would not recommend to state these provinces just because you don't have that much of gun capacity. Just add centers of trade to three companies. Soon I will peace out. Let's start improving. Okay, so let's peace out. I will take all Basra trade node provinces and some money. So you might ask why am I taking Basra, not Persia, for example. It's all richer. And the answer is really really simple. Let's take a look at Indian trade. So, Bengal goes to Coromandel and Duap, right? Duap goes into Lahore and Lahore into Gujarat, and Coromandel flows directly into Gujarat. Now let's take a look at Gujarat. Gujarat flows to Ormus, but Ormus trade only goes to Basra. What does it mean? If you control whole Basra trade node and whole Ormus trade node, you will have 100% of trade power here. So you would be able to funnel all Indian trade, all of it, to Ormus. Ideally, for this to work, you would also need to conquer Kaf, Faden, and Zanzibar, but when you control Ormus trade node, it won't be that difficult. Passion trade node, on the other hand, is a lot worse. First, it won't be able to transfer all Indian trade here. Second, to consolidate it, you would need to conquer some Ottoman provinces and some Russian provinces. Okay, let's ask for knowledge sharing from Hidden Kaifa. I guess Ottomans helped it. And we will get free Renaissance. Well, almost free. Here we call the truth has ended, so what I'm going to do is quite simple. Call in Bechmanis. Although first, let's mark some provinces as vital. Oh, no need. Okay, let's check their provinces out. Yeah, okay. Let's go in Bahmanis. Uh, let's choose the most expensive province here. Well, Jampur, why not? Okay, I will occupy a little just so Bahmanis don't take my provinces. I need to have whole clutch group, after all. And we can declare Omelvar. We can. Well, oh well, it broke lines with Bahmanis anyway. Well then, even better. If it can't broke with the allies, Bahmanis will not join just because we are at war together. But remember, your allies will join the war. If we piss out the nation we declared on. So, for example, if I uh, pissed out Jampur, Bahmanis would be free and they would support their alignment war. 
Also Atomans will most likely break alliance with us, unfortunate but true. Next first achievability take aggressive expansion one. Currently I'm just improving relations with nations that could join the coalition. The most dangerous here is Moar actually. It will let a lot of nations into coalition. Ok, let's so jump for. I will take all provinces of Hindustani culture and war operations. Once again coalitions won't form just because I either have truce with nations that could join or positive relations. Let's wait peace come on and I will continue improving relations. Right now coalition looks quite scary but it's possible to make it smaller. Well ok, I can peace out. The scariest nation here is Vijayanagar. But aside from this, we either have truce or it's small PM and it won't join the coalition. To know what to conquer, just for later mystery, generally. Here we conquer some Sin provinces, some standard trade. Okay, first we would assimilate whole Hindustani culture. I think I own all of it, yes I do. Anyway, let's finish this mission and get some claims on Mala. We could maybe even not course in provinces and first get claims on them. This way it will be cheaper. Yeah, as you can see, all Hindustani cultures are assimilated. We get my stand core creation cost. Once again, don't forget the elite forts, they are mostly useless, but you can keep some of them just to protect from rebels. Speaking about bad luck, Ormus allied both Atomans and Mamluks. I didn't think it was possible, but apparently it is. Well, anyway, maybe I will declare later. I need to find some rivals of Mamluks. Ethiopia. Good idea. Renaissance is here, now we just need to embrace it. Ok, let's state Sirhind, Corporal Princess, and Lower Autonomy. And maybe put centralization effort. So now Bahmanis are guaranteeing Malva. Yes, they do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare on some small nation. This one's too strong. This one good enough. Well, in Bahmanis. Now they won't support Malva and we can declare. And let's make Sync obedient. Once again, you just need to know how to handle alliances. Okay, Malva released new nation. Uh, let's also conquer it. Okay, let's take Malva province and fully annex Sync. As you can see, no collisions, no problems. Well, we don't really need to conquer Nepal right now, so let's just take some money, some more patience. The goal of this war was just to distract Bahmanis, so they don't interfere. They have also conquered some provinces that I want, so soon we'll need to break their alliance. But break their alliances only when you really need to. Oh, by the way, we can also conquer this mission. How oh, cool. One more province. No, there is no collision. Okay, let's pass Karha, but there may be collision this time. So I'm going to improve relations a little bit more. I have truce here, I have truce here. Well, okay, we can peace out now. I have truce with these Nepali nations. Okay, we can finish one more mission. Conquer Malwa. I think it's already a good time to break alliance with Bakmanis because they block our expansion opportunities. Well, okay, I think I would change our reform to this one. Centralized bureaucracy just because... I don't know how, but this province got autonomy. Maybe in one and we need to lower it. Otherwise, half of our mission tree is not accessible. I see that I can easily declare Mamluks and take some Basra provinces. Let's do it. Let's declare Bakmanis. As you can see, Vijayanagar soften them up, we can call Bengal and I won't even need to do anything. Ok, let's pass out Mamluks, all Bastron provinces, maybe some money, cash, yeah, a little bit. And now nothing from Ormus should leak. Yes, as you can see, it's true. Nothing. Ormus now is closed, basically. If we fully conquer it, we won't lose any income. Well, at least that's the best trade setup I can think of for Mughals. You could also just collect in Indian trade nodes, but it's not as efficient. Ok, I think let's just already develop Renaissance, because it's already frankly... Quite ridiculous. Ok, let's take out some loans. Chain loans, here we go. Well, that's the disadvantage of Mughals. Early on, while you still haven't set up your trade, it would be quite difficult to embrace new institutions, because they are too big. As an study group, you can take administrative, very good for Mughals. And now, after the war with Mamluks, Ormus decided to light them. Why is it bad, you might ask? Well, because if it was allied in the first place, I would declare Mamluks, peace out Ormus, break its alliances, and then I would be able to conquer it. Well, now it's not that easy. Finally, I pacified one job, got better in JKS, but anyway, let's finish these missions. Might conquer this right now, by the way, it's not really that difficult. Karkoyuno is not allied to anyone. Okay, let's just end the war with Bukmanis already. Let's cut coalition, no coalition. Just improve relations and have truce with anyone who chain. And also first declare on one religion, then on the other. That way there won't be as much aggressive expansion. Of course, many provinces, so let's peace out Karkoyuno. Once again, no coalition. Okay, let's finish a boost aid stream. Well, I wanted to show you one last trick, although might be possible, although not really. I need to prepare a claim here for this to work. Anyway, right now let's conquer Mawar. It was granted uh, by Bahmanis and I wanted to show you how to reset truces, but not really possible. Ok, for a claim, let me show you. So the truce is until 1522. Now let's declare on this nation, it's granted by Bahmanis. Let's piss out Mawar and coalition actually might form, but at this size, no need to worry. Coalitions only form if they at least have chance. To do something to you. Okay, it took less than one year, let's just wait peace Bahmanis and note that our truce now is only for five years. We made it shorter for four years. If someone guarantees nations, you can also use this for this. Or to declare on this nation, 
not make its overload coalitioned and break its alliances, also possible. India is a bulk of mercy. Okay, let's end this war. Well, and I think, let's be honest, it's already world conquest in the making. Basically, the only rebel left is Pajangar. Well, anyway, I could have gone even faster, actually. By this time, it should be possible to conquer whole India. So, once again, how to prevent collisions and stuff? First, find uh, some good allies, some big allies for the first moments, so you can beat up other big nations. Second, focus on one religion at first, and then increase your reach. Remember that neither Ottomans or Mamluks care about Indians, unless you conquer too much. And how to break alliance blocks. Either declare on their granted nations or allies, don't make the nation you want to break alliances with go belligerent, don't do it, and then just break its alliances. It won't have time to allay anyone once again. And just generally focus on conquering one culture. It will give you some bonuses. And I turn this Iron Man game into a normal one, annex almost, and I want to show you how good trade setup would work. So as you can see, if you have Ormus and Pasra, you get 100 trade power here. You want to transfer old Indian trade to Ormus. Ideally for this to work, you would also need to conquer Gulf of Aden and Zanzibar. That's the best trade setup you can get. Later on, you can conquer Astrakhan and Aleppo. This way you would be able to transfer everything to Persia. And briefly about Tekken, in one of the missions you would be able to release, here it is, West Road of the Tekken. You need to core all provinces in Southern India, where Tekken will be, it's important. Then release it, get permanent bonuses, and then after 10 years you would be able to freely annex it, instantly. Well, anyway, thank you for watching, hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.